Oh, we gotta go to the diner. Yeah. Looks like there's someone to talk to there. Interesting. I don't know, I like the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, I like the art style. It feels very... I don't know, like, if you look at this town, it feels kind of like those, that famous city blanket thing that you would see at, like, doctor's offices. And, like, you're supposed to have toy block trains or something, and you drive down the roads. You know what I'm talking about? Like, kind uh, of a... You mean, like, those toddler toys? Kind of like a toddler toy sort of thing. The, what, like... were the, what were the egg people called? They, they even had a TV show, now that I think about it. Oh, really? Yeah, they were the, they were the egg-shaped people, and they stacked inside of each other. Holy crap! I'm just now remembering that TV show on toys. Hmm. Wiggly Town. Here, Higgly Town? Heroes? Higgly Town Heroes, I think they were. Maybe. I guess the name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure if I really know what Hey, his paper's still is. here. <laughs> There's no janitor or anything to clean that up? Have you seen the competence that these most of these robots have? That's interesting. I guess they technically feel... Yeah, they've explained that they're brain link device. Well, I mean, I assume that they think they feel, but I didn't think that they, I guess, is still technically thinking they feel. I mean, humans just think they feel. We have... No, it affects our bodies, we feel. Because it affects us physically. If we get hurt, that affects us. Yeah, but a robot's uh, internal electrons would change. What we eat affects us. What we do affects us. Mm -hmm. Mildly, uh, dr uh, drastically. Oh, I forgot you don't say anything for real. Overworking your uh, robot CPU would drastically change. That's not the same as thinking you felt some gravel and you didn't. That doesn't change you. Like when you when your brain malfunctions and you think you feel a spider on your arm and you didn't actually feel anything, you, it didn't affect your body because you didn't feel anything. And I'm not talking about oh you felt the brain function and that freak and your your freaking out affected your body. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the feeling that didn't actually exist. Hmm. You see what I mean? I guess I don't really know exactly what it is you're talking about though. Okay, say you feel a, like a bug is crawling on your arm mm. and then you freak out and you go to swat it but there was nothing there. Nothing touched you. You yeah. just freaked you out for no it. reason. Yeah. Well, if you went to swat it then your body still reacted to that feeling. Yeah, and I knew you were going to say that. My point was nothing affected you before you tried to do that. Nothing was affecting you. You did not actually feel anything. You just thought it. Well, if you thought it, then you did feel it. A feeling is just a thought. The feeling is a reaction to your skin or whatever is touching you and then it's sending signals to your brain that something is touching you. And you see the scratch along your arm if something scratched you. The infection. The wound. Yeah, but those are all separate things. The feeling itself is just a thought. Because the there is some. Because the like, if you're paralyzed, you. like something could scratch your leg, and if you're paraplegic, you're not gonna feel right, it. Right, I know, but the feel, the point of touch is so you know that something is happening to your body, your surroundings. The feeling of touch is just a sensory. Thing. It's a way for your body to interact with the outside world. Your body is your physical connection between your mind and reality. It is how your brain experiences the world around you. We are just our brains. Our brains compose everything from our personality to how we think to how we I feel. Don't know, I don't know about a personality. I think that is a combination of what you are inherently born with how you're raised, and most importantly, your free will to change at any time. Well, of course, you have free will, but your brain stores all that information. It's basically a big computer. It holds your memories. It I holds still, the DNA I don't know. that... It, that kind of talk makes it feel like you can't change yourself. Like, you, you can't change that you like this. You can't change that you don't like that. Well, you can. You can change your brain chemistry. It's rewiring your brain. 
By no. doing mental exercises. Well, how do you do that? How by do you getting into a habit. How do you train like, yourself to like pickles if you hate pickles? I don't know. Combine it with something that you do like. And then slowly take away the thing that you like. And then you'll be just left with the pickle. What if you think pickles ruin everything they touch? How are you going to train yourself to like onions? I don't know. You don't like onions. I like fried onions. I like onion rings. I like onion rings. But they have to be cooked just right. If they're burnt, wrong. If they're not cooked enough, then it's just a wet, floppy onion inside a little bit of batter. But if they're cooked just right, yeah, onion rings are actually pretty good. Okay. But, how, like, how that's you train example. yourself to like onions in like a, a stew? I don't know. I tried as a kid. Um, cause uh, I watched the movie Holes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they had the whole scene where you had like the peaches in the jar. Mm -hmm. And then they had the they had to survive on raw onions. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's so cool! They just pull an onion out of the ground and they just eat it. And well, no I, one likes raw onions. I know, but unless I tried it's on a burger. As a kid, I was like, they really like it. And my mom used to try and get me to eat mushrooms because I've always hated mushrooms. So she was kind of smart. She was all like, just pretend it's like Mario. You know, he eats super mushrooms and gets big and strong. And so I was like. I yeah, I'll try it. it. It just, it didn't work for me. I just, I couldn't like mushrooms. So are you saying there are things about yourself you can't change? Because I don't, I, 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 believe, I believe it's insanely it's, hard, but I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't believe it's impossible. And I'm not trying to say like, ugh, I don't believe it. I just, I, I'm just trying, I'm trying to be sound. I, I, I just think you can. I think yeah, you can change, I think you can change too. literally anything about yourself that isn't actually physical. I mean, even then, if you got enough money, apparently you can with surgeries. Mm -hmm. You've been trying to talk to everyone to see if I'm we trying can to talk set ourselves to everyone up with a date. To see if there's a date Hot or date. Uh, yeah. if someone's like, hey, you look lonely, you want to eat with us because we, we, we like friends. Try and check all the corners, see if there's something hidden there that we can't see until we get super close. Yeah, because everyone keeps talking about how there's something in one of these corners. Did you say something about food poisoning? And never get food poisoning because it's virtual food. Yeah, I think that's everyone's least favorite thing about eating. <laughs> no, I might die if I eat this. That and allergies. Yeah. That's the trippy thing, is, is you can never know if you're deathly allergic to a food until you've eaten it. At least once. I mean, I suppose they have tests. They, they have tests, but who, who really goes out of the way to, go, to say, you know, I think I'm just going to randomly go get my, uh, tested for different food allergies and see if I'm allergic to anything. Unless they're already experiencing adverse effects in life that might lead them to think that they're allergic to something. Yeah. Or like, in our case, like, we could probably test our kids to see if they have allergies to tree nuts. And because you're highly allergic to tree nuts. And mm -hmm. I'm not. So like, if we, when we have kids, it's possible that they would be allergic and it's possible that they wouldn't be allergic. Please don't compare me to Cornelius. Uh, yeah. That's like the biggest insult ever. You're a total Cornelius. I mean, technically he did help us, help save us at the end, but that doesn't quite make up for it. Yeah, good luck having enough money to do that. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're wasting it all eating at this super fancy looking cafe. And it's not even real food, it's like Plankton's holographic meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, holographic meatloaf, my favorite. I saw a meme once uh, where someone took that scene and was just like, is it a coincidence that Plankton eats holographic meatloaf because Plankton's photosynthesized and the hologram is just a beam of light? I mean, I could. I, it's either a coincidence or maybe they planned that. I mean, Steven Hillenburg was a marine biologist and they know a surprising amount of stuff about the ocean. Mm-hmm. So, I could believe it either way. I have a feeling it's just a coincidence, but as Bob Ross would say, it's a happy little accident. So back to what we were mitigating about earlier, uh, 
I know we talk about this sometimes, but really, what do you think separates humans and robots? Since you argue like there's not really a big difference. Uh, the big difference comes into whether or not they have a soul. I don't yes, believe robots have souls, well, but what, I do believe why don't that they you are think, life. Well, if they are created, and how do they not have a soul? They they would be created by humanity though and not created by God. Mm -hmm. So they don't have that certain I would argue touch. you can't be alive if you don't have a soul. That's what makes you alive because you are your soul. That That's your real self, right? Your true yeah, your, self your that soul isn't is affected like by the your brain. of you. Yeah, it's not affected by your brain or your heart or your mm -hmm. other bodily functions. Unaltered. Yeah, and so a robot wouldn't do that because a robot has to follow its programming. Whatever its AI is designed to do, it can't deviate from that. So do you think people should be allowed to marry so robots? Like no, really. Well, okay, from an allowed standpoint, I do believe that they should be allowed to, although I certainly don't agree with it. You certainly look at them like they're a freak. Yeah, you have every right to think that they're a freak. Mm -hmm. yeah, just and you can even make fun I of really you. don't like that. You, just because you're allowed to do something and it's legal, it doesn't mean that people shouldn't have the right to think that you're kind of odd for doing that. Yeah, like, like that shouldn't just become normal and accepted just because. Yeah, you're just allowed because to something do it. is technically allowed now doesn't mean that it's normal or. Like I mean, okay. you're allowed to gamble, but most people would agree gambling is bad. Yeah. Don't oh do God, it. Yeah. It's not... Okay, I guess it depends where you live if gambling's illegal. But certain forms of gambling are not illegal, and it's still bad. Meanwhile, me over here is uh, opening up Digimon card packs. Uh, yeah, gambling's wrong. <laughs> well, you're tr well, we buy the specific cards when we need them. Yeah. <gasps> he looks sad and lonely! This is probably the guy. <laughs> They don't serve jam. Uh oh. We actually do we have, have jam. jam. Would you like some of my jam? He said jolly good. Jolly good show. Let me give oh, you a pop. Oh, I gift. love him. He's my favorite. A mug from the Nemo. He's my favorite. He's the bee's. You're the bee's knees, sir. You are the bee's knees. Quite the collector's item. Cheerio. Cheerio. Cheerio, mate. Yes! Cheerio to Look, you too, we mate. made him so happy! Look, mm. he's so dashing and dapper. Look at his beautiful face. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, you deserve a better job than this. You came all the way to the metaverse just to <laughs> be this. Mm. But, uh, Wait, I see something! Oh. I knew it! It would be something eventually. It's a spoon! A spoon. That would have helped us scoop out the jam! You found a spoon, wow. Just a little spoony. Ah ha ha ha. Boom. So we found the hat and we traded that for jam. And then we traded the jam for a mug. So is the mug the final item? Or are we supposed to give the mug to someone else too? Because that feels like a big fetch quest kind of thing. I just wish I knew if it was a fetch quest item. Oh, I didn't go to the green section. Or the, or the pink. There's a pink section. Mm. Or is that the normal section? That's the normal section. I'm gonna go to the... No, that's the normal section. Yeah. We gotta go to pink and green. Oh, yeah. okay. How exciting! Yeah, I don't think we've Nostalgia ever... Nostalgia critic, I'm so excited! I don't think we've ever been over here. Hey, hey, hey! Speed dating event! Oh, yeah, everyone's Oh, this is the speed dating area! Yeah! I guess so. Oh, good. 